When I heard that the ISET this year was not being used for um, advancement to the next grade for third graders and sixth graders, I couldn't believe that it was still being administered. People did not understand that there was a possibility of opting out of a test. That wasn't something that was on anybody's radar. So I went to a more than a score meeting to find out what the actual truth was about opting out and about Chicago Public Schools testing this year. So I sent an email to the seventh grade parents and linked the more than a score website so they could do their own research and encourage them to think about opting their kids out as well. A few days before the ISAT was to begin, I made the decision to boycott administering that test. I thought about it for a long time. Um, I went home and I spoke to my wife about it. Together we decided that uh, it was the right thing to do. I felt that many teachers were really supportive of the idea, but also fearful um, for their jobs. When you boycott something, you're breaking the law. And when you break the law or you don't follow the rules, that makes everybody nervous. Now, around 10.30 in the morning, I started seeing these frantic emails from Drummond parents saying that, uh, that investigators were in the school and they were interrogating children and that they were um, calling the children as witnesses against their teachers. I had to go into the uh, office with um, a door closed just between the uh, investigator and I. And I called the school to request that my daughter not be interviewed by anyone. And a few minutes later, I got a call back saying that Jessica had already been interviewed. It was too late. Most of the questions they were asking was about how um, kids like me figured out about opting out. Why did you choose to opt out of ISAT? Who told you you could opt out of the ISAT? Not happy with our children being used as pawns in this political game. I, I think it's sick and wrong that anybody would think that it was okay to interview a kid as young as eight. Did your parents like, force you to do it? Were your teachers telling you not to take it? When I found out that was happening, uh, it, 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 it brought me to tears, really. I mean, it, it, it just didn't make any sense to me. What we're talking about here is not the fact that they're investigating the teachers, but the fact that at least some of us believe they abused their legal authority by interviewing the kids without talking to the parents first. I'm irate for my daughter, who is 12 years old, to come home and felt like she was the bad guy. CPS violated our trust, and they took away our right to parent, really, is what they did. And I feel that that is the key issue that we need to address here, and I'd like to see what are we doing about having parental rights. I stand strong on, on my decision. I am a boycotter and proud of it. I think that this boycott brought out the whole um, debate around testing. So to me, it's been just very, very positive. 